is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new aew action figure news coming at you guys as you guys know uh coming around comic-con time is when all of the leaks happen man we got like so many different things just leaking out here leaking out there and it's just insanity man it's absolute insanity i don't even know if aew and jazzwares is going to be doing a panel at san diego comic-con or you know if they're going to be doing reveals you know we just had double or nothing fan fest and we got a ton of stuff so I'm not sure if they're even going to show anything off. Maybe we'll have like new prototype images or maybe we'll have like new in package images or something like that. But I don't know if we're going to be getting any newer stuff because there were so many things. You guys already know. There were so many things revealed. If you guys missed our Double or Nothing Fan Fest coverage, definitely go check it out because there were so many different things. But today we actually have some more stuff to cover and it's pretty insanity. I'm pretty excited to get into it, guys. So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. So this image actually comes to us from Prince of Figures on Instagram. He actually posted this up at one time and it looks to me brad to be the aew unmatched series one darby allen figure as you guys can see here and we already saw the render image right like i'll pull up both of them side by side so you guys can see we already saw the render image but the figure looks insane i think it crushes his first version i know his aew chase figure was really good but this figure looks insane you got the skateboard with the face of tnt i really like the face paint if you guys own the series three darby it's such a good figure man it's one of i think a lot of people would say it's a top three top four AEW figure that they've ever made so this Darby looks really good as well I like the head sculpt on it I like everything going on speaking of head sculpt I don't know if you guys saw it but they like leaked out some footage of the AEW game coming up and it looked insane too they had like a Darby Allen model and he was like in the arena hopefully that game will be insane it looks great I think it looks great like I'm not one for graphics I'm, I'm one for gameplay over graphics I know that's a little bit off topic here but if the game play if they released an AEW game and it looked just like here comes the pain just like in you know just HD 1080 but it was the AEW roster with the same gameplay as here comes the pain I would never put that game down and we would play that all day if they did like a GM mode you could do some cool stuff I, yeah, let's just get back to to the to the, the task at hand anyways the starby allen looks insane i like it a lot uh you know it's just the same leather jacket in the rubber but i will say it does look really good the tnt championship is there and you guys will also notice that the tnt championship once again is oversized i would say it's definitely oversized again you guys can just kind of see the comparison between the title and the darby allen figure you know just the scaling and all that and i feel like somebody said that this championship was off or something like that but is there something off about the championship besides Besides the size of the championship, is there anything wrong with the title? I'm not noticing anything right off. You know, black strap, gold stuff, you got the, you know, the red ribbon on there, all of that good stuff. Again, the size is a little bit too big there, but TNT Championship looks good. Darby Allen looks good, and I already know it's going to be a banger because his first figure was absolutely crazy, so this one will be no different. One thing that we already discussed, you know, we already saw the Miro in the mock packaging, so we already knew that we were getting that blue background. You have the unmatched and the names in silver. I'm really excited to see what these look like on the shelf up next to the gold and like you know putting them up on the wall i think that'll be really cool as well so i i remember making like a projection i said it looks like the you know the logos are silver and the names are silver so it does look like that is correct but not only do we have darby guys but we also have an image of the ljn cody that we're going to be getting so you guys already know i'll pull up the render image as well so here's another in package image now i don't have the full package image so i don't know if the packaging will be a little bit smaller will it be the same exact size as the you know the unmatched figures like the darby allen we just saw i'm not exactly sure I don't know if they're going to, you know, put that in a smaller packaging or what that is. We do have this zoomed in shot though, but the figure looks great. You know, the, the paint on the tights looks really great. W I wish this was an unrivaled figure, but you know, people would probably cry about another Cody coming out. So I understand that, but we already knew what the render looked like. You know, again, we don't have a full package image of it, but we do have the blue and white version and we have the mock image. And then we also have this image. I found this somewhere. I don't even remember where I found this, but we have an image of another Cody. Now I'm not sure if this is the Chase variant. I don't even know. Is there a Chase variant in series? one was Cody the Chase variant I, I I guess he was or this is just a make this is like a prototype or is this like a custom I don't know what this is but you have the LJ and Cody but it's in red and white tights so I guess Cody is going to be the Chase variant in the set I also forgot though that Britt Baker is also a Chase variant so is there going to be two Chase variants in each set just like the Unrival collection I guess we'll have to see about that but I do know that Britt Baker was also a Chase variant because you know we had the Pittsburgh Steelers gear and then you have this other red variant Cody so I guess we'll 
I'll just have to see about that and see, you know, exactly how they do the chases, or they may have already done it. I just don't have the info right here in front of me to read off. So we'll have the blue version, and then we will have the red version of the Cody, both in the white there, but the figure looks cool. You know, I'm not one for LJNs. You know, I wasn't collecting back then, or, you know, I didn't grow up with that. That wasn't a part of my deal, but I know a lot of people are going to be very hyped for this, but I am going to keep me a mock set. I'm going to try to keep, you know, just like my Unrivaled set, I'm going to try to keep an unmatched set mock, so that will be fun as well. And I'm already running out of room for mock figures, so I'm already in trouble. I don't know how people have just like hundreds and hundreds of figures just stored away. Need to get some boxes or something like that, but then it's like, what, what's even happening, you know? So I don't, I don't know. Mock collectors, man, you are the real MVP. But not only that, guys, we also have another image of that four-pack. If you guys remember the four-pack that we saw with the Kenny Omega, the Chris Jericho, the John Moxley, and the MJF, here's more of a clearer image, and it does look like it is going to be the Series 4 Omega, the Series 6 Chris Jericho, the Series 5 Moxley, and the Series 6 MJF. Very interested to see where this thing releases, you know, with the, you know, how much will it cost? Is it going to go to retail? Is it, you know, what, yeah, there's going to be a lot of questions here if we can find it at our local Walmart. Is it going to be only on ringside? I don't think it's a ringside exclusive. I feel like we would see the sticker on there. So that's another thing. So we'll have to, uh, have to see exactly what it is and how it is and all of those different things. But this is a very interesting set. One of the most interesting sets I've seen so far. So we'll have to see, you know, exactly what the plans are with all of that and how and why and just wet just, uh, I'm just gonna shut the hell up but anyways guys I think that pretty much does it for our news here today we had the Darby Allen we had the Cody Rhodes we had the four pack there with the new image we had the little chase variant of the Cody I think we have some more news that may or may not be leaked out like coming soon like I think uh we may have some information on those WWE Elite 3 packs we might even have some more images of unmatched series one so we'll have to wait and see exactly you know the verbiage on that if I get a you know a thumbs up on that I will probably do a you know another video on that and release that up to you guys so definitely stay on the lookout for that as we wait but we'll have to see about all that guys thank you so very much for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter my damn toys and before we get out of here let's do get into a random shout out because i think i missed it the last couple days which i do apologize for but you know yeah, 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 yeah. and this shout out is going to go to rome d who says you should do a ranking of all the legend series figures from worst to best that would be pretty cool i think uh that would be a very good video idea to rank all the legends you know uh, the ones to skip out on because that would really give us a good measure there because you know a lot of figures in the main elite line those are not legends those are guys that you know you constantly want to update so those get ranked a little bit differently and you know if you wanted to add them or don't want to add them so that may be a pretty damn good video idea if you guys would like to see the legends figures ranked and exactly how that would look like guys i guess we would have to keep it to the legend series only like the not the hall of fame not all that it would have to be the legend series only that way you know it, we wouldn't get carried away with who's who's a legend and who's not a legend and all that stuff but a huge shout out to roman thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and don't cross the line like I did when I forgot to do the cross the line shout out after I crossed the line. You crossed the line, I've been beaten.